Blue on body, proton parts, inner woods route, so we can fight all the bosses at level 6. Level 6 isn't as necessary if you use the photon uh, shots, or the, uh, actually, or the graviton shot. I feel like it's really the gluon shot, the scatter shot here, that's very dependent on power level. Like, even, like, at level 3, it's kind of crap, and even at level 4, it struggles to kill some of the bosses as quickly as it feels like it should. Played on real hardware, by the way. Uh, Windows 10 PC. Using a uh, Sega Saturn style um, gamepad. Yeah, speed kill game. Pretend it's a caravan game. This is definitely speed kills the game. Pretty fun. And that, that is a, the style that I like to start with. I'm not one of these milk boys who's around milking everything. I don't need... I don't need that. It's a bit hot and spicy. It's like good luck following if you've never played this game before. No one understands it based on launching it. It's really simple, it's the thing. Like, you should be able to understand it, but I wasn't able to understand it from just watching it. And it seems like that's pretty much everyone, what everyone says. <clears throat> but it's really just a series of arena fights. These end so quickly. I think I gotta turn down the balloon too, because I can't see shit. Alright. Spider boss is the easiest one. We do Himmel. Alright, that, that went perfectly for that fight. There were 183, sec 183 ticks positive on time, which is exactly where we want to be at this point. You start with 600 ticks and Basically all the way until the end, you want to be positive coming out of each stage, so above 600. By the time you take two hits, you probably fall, fall behind that. It's not necessary to always be positive, but the end of the game is going to be a real crunch if you're not. So that's when you have to do everything without as many power-ups. Your power-up is determined on a floor-to-floor -floor basis here, or arena-to-arena -arena basis. <clears throat> Alright, so there's actually a right way to do this map that I need to pay attention to and do correctly this time. So... Yeah, I don't want to wrap all the way around. Well, I want to wrap all the way around one of them, and not the others. So we'll wrap around this bottom left one. get points or time for any tiles except for boss tiles. 
<laughs> for the first little bit of the game, it's kind of funny. You have zero score. Alright. So now we just want to... Stay towards the center. Of the map, that is. I'm gonna get through this one. Gotta be careful here. Always better to take a little bit of extra time rather than get hit. Patient. Kind of a trick to a lot of speed killing games is that it's really about being patient. In this case, every time you enter a floor, your special weapon needs a few seconds to charge up. It's that percentage meter next to the ship. And so usually I don't want to attack any dangerous enemies until I've got the special weapon ready, because that is a defensive function. Let's just like, get going. Alright, so let's do a boss now. Alright, that's clean. Let's do the one in the center, which we have to fight at power level 3. Just do the map layout. Slip away from me there. Again, still better than getting hit though. Alright, this one I need to take out couple more of these floors so I can do them at level 5, so I don't have to worry about them slipping away like the previous one did. And I just want to corner him as much as possible, then when you think the sword is going to be enough, to finish them all, deploy that, and now get a final boss of this stage. Well, the last, and now we have the actual boss of the stage. Shit. shicked. Alright. You have to kill all three of those at the same time, otherwise they will respawn with more HP. And that gets out of hand really quickly. So, we're now only about 50 positive on time coming out of that stage. It's a bad hit. I shouldn't have known that was coming. One, two, three, then get out the sword. Properly. One, two, three. Sword. Yeah, you know, the last one has time to fire some projectiles before I'm able to kill it. That's why I get out the sword there. Defend me from those attacks. And here, just want to work my way around the perimeter. Right. I was a little slow on the kill. So I backed off so I didn't get shot by the second to last one. This guy, usually you can just kind of trap. Sometimes he ends up dropping the ball on your head though. The most important thing about clearing this game again is that I need to watch the credits because it has all the enemy names and I forgot to pay attention to it last time. Oh shit, that was really close. <clears throat> Barely avoided that attack.
And I screwed that up. At least I didn't get hit. Come on. Okay. Miss again. And there's one more level 3 floor. Minus one of these guys. That one I did at power level 3, so it was quicker. Okay, so this 6th floor actually usually isn't that hard. You know, the number sounds intimidating. Let's hit on this, get trapped there. And yeah. Come on. Alright, that wasn't great. You can still recover the time. But if I get hit by one of these bosses, it's probably going to be game over. This didn't get close enough to him. Uh, I don't think it's game over yet, but yeah. That really was preventable damage. And now we get to fight this boss at level 6. It's preferable. You have to stay on the move here. As you can see there's a laser tracking me from behind. It means that you can't keep firing the whole time, since that Cuts your momentum. So we're basically even on time going into the mine. This is where the game gets harder. where, again, anytime there's an enemy that I suspect is going to shoot, or even if I've seen it shoot already, like that one, I'm going to wait till the sword is ready before I charge it. This is kind of a dangerous floor. Level 4 at power level 1. I'm actually going to go to the 2 before I go to the 1, because I think the 2 in this case is easier than the 1. Every floor that's marked at 2 on a given stage is going to have the same enemy layout. Every floor that's mapped to 1 will have the same, etc. So I know which enemies are going to be in each of these stages. Alright, we're ready to take this boss. Spider, this guy's easy. Embarrassing to take a hit against him, but it does happen. Can I get away from me? Or my sword could hit. I had to wait for a second charge. Again, I'm gonna do two first, because I think it's easier. I should have waited for the sword there. I was done. Alright, now this is the totem pole boss. Uh, yeah, push back as soon as I use the sword. And 
this is the artillery boss. Most dangerous of the floor bosses. I'm going to fight each one of those three again before the end of the stage, so I'm going to get to the spider first. And this one. All of these one stages, or these one floors, I'm going to just wait and use my sword. Just like push him back a little bit, get out of the way, while she's shoots that volley, and charges the sword. Not the fastest way to do it, but the safest. So for the spider, I'm going to go for power level 5. Because the way these are laid out, you basically have a choice of how many of the encircling tiles you want to do before you do the boss fight. In most cases, you'll just want to go for all 6. I think that's you know, the safest way to do it. but. I'm just going to try to shave off a little bit of time by only going for five here. I forgot that you start in a different location relative to the spider on that one, so I must do something dumb. Do the totem pole next. Totem pole, I'm also gonna fight at level five. Just playing it safe with these guys. for the totem pole boss again. And that went much smoother than last time. A little bit early deploying the sword there. Hey, Nanamari Arcade. Yeah, I've learned how to play this game recently. And it's a really good one. What's your experience with it? Alright, so we're gonna go for a full level 6. Uh, cause this is the boss that I don't like. See, I think they're a little bit more, these, uh, these two floors are a little bit more aggressive now than they were at the beginning of this stage. Like, they're just a little bit closer to me when it starts. They're just maybe in slightly different positions instead of on opposite sides of me. Okay, that went well. Now we just have the stage boss. Who we haven't seen before, but... Right, I did it wrong. Oh, are you kidding me? This guy can be a real dick. Ah, it's pretty bad. It's really tight going into the final stage. Just one hit I could have absorbed, but not both of them. Alright, so now we will rematch all the bosses one more time, including the stage bosses this time. So, all three floor bosses and all three stage bosses. 
<clears throat> and I'm gonna try to go through these stages, these floors in a particular order. So that, first of all, most importantly, we want to end in the center stage, so that we do that one at level six, or the center floor. But also, the penultimate, I want to be the one in the top right, which is a brief match with uh, Schicht, the Hydro-type boss. And this is the second most dangerous, the rematch with Himmel. Alright, that was a bit more aggressive than I really should have been there, but it worked out. I wasn't sure how much time I had left. Oh, that's the wrong target. I don't want to shoot the uh, little orbiter in this fight, because it'll trigger a salvo of projectiles from the main boss. Only one hit. And yeah, this is this floor is pretty make or break. Alright, good. Level six for the rematch with this guy who we just fought, who pretty much dies instantly. And this re rematch for whatever reason, and this is the final loss. There we go. 441 ticks left over. And that was a worse score than when I cleared earlier, though. Yeah, once you get the sense of it, it's not a terribly difficult game. Well, it's intense, though, is the thing, because it can collapse really quickly. Like, you're, that's kind of the fun of it, that you're always on the brink of the game over. Right, so we gotta watch the enemy names. Alright, so Kugelfang is the mine stage boss. Ritter is the spider floor boss. Arm is the two-part boss. Schicht is the Hydra. Benstungen is... that's one of those regular enemies. Oh, these are... Benstungen must be not regular enemies and they're just numbered. Ritter number 10 is the totem pole. Centrum, final loss. Okay, it skips through a bunch. So that we can get a long showcase of Soldat Deska. <laughs> Not sure why. Okay, so there's just a couple of generic names that are numbered, like Litter Soldat Deska and. Now we're seeing Google. What? Oh, it looped through. Went back to the beginning. The way that it. I'm not pressing any buttons. The way that it's skipping through these is weird. This is such a stylish game. But yeah, there's three different stage orders that you can do the game in. And there's way too many difficulty settings, like eight or something. This is medium directly in the middle, and uh, yeah, there's, I don't know, six different ship loadouts you can take, there's uh, three main weapons and three special weapons. In second place. You can see I did it earlier with the same parts. Much better score, because I didn't take so many hits. Uh, anyway, that's it for the stream, because really I just wanted to get a recording of this game.